And um, I wanted to let everyone know that we are going to continue this into June, but we're going to do it every other week. So it will be the second and fourth week. Um, and uh, I will send out a reminder email, I promise. Today was a, uh, a mishap on my part. I just got discombobulated. Um, but uh, we will continue into June and we'll do it uh, those weeks. So let us be called to worship. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan that you form to sport in it. These all look to you. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hands, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles who touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Bless the, Bless Lord, the Lord, O my soul. My soul. Praise, praise the Lord. Let us uh, gather in prayer. Gracious and holy God, we come yet again in the middle of the week in fellowship to sit before you in silence, prayer, and reflection. We pray now, as always, that you be present to us and that your Holy Spirit lead and guide us as we seek to walk the path you have laid out before us. Draw us closer to you and through that, closer to all those who surround us. We ask all of this in your Son, our Savior's name. Amen. Let your ways be known upon the earth your saving health among the nations. How deep I find your thoughts, O oh God. How great is the sum of them. Our first reading today is from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues, as of fire, appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the native tongue of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all of these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear, each of us, in our own native tongue? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cap Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the 11, raised his voice and addressed them, men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
And our gospel reading comes from the Gospel of John, the 20th chapter, verses 19 through 23. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So friends, now is the time where we uh, break from the concerns and the worries of the everyday and take a pause to breathe and to enter into God's presence in prayer. So let us um, get into a position that is comfortable and close our eyes and just focus on our breathing. Just breathe normally as we have when we enter into this time. And slowly let your focus come more and more to your breathing. If you're like me, this week has been a little stressful. Maybe you're tired of Zoom. Whatever it is, whatever you're feeling, just let it be and turn towards your breathing. Pay attention to your body too, the way your body draws in the breath, the way your body breathes out. Pay attention to the way your chest or your belly moves as you breathe and breathe out. Remember that it's okay if thoughts come to mind. Maybe there's an email you need to respond to, someone you need to call, a chore you forgot, whatever it is, it will be there when we are done. Let it be and return to your breathing. Your breathing might have slowed down a little as you focus more on it, just let it lead you. Don't try to force anything. Continue following normal patterns of breathing. Letting your breath be an anchor. Letting it be what you focus on. Returning to it if anything comes to mind. And I want you now to focus on your stomach. And if you'd like, put your hand there on your belly, about where your navel is. And take a deep breath in through your nose, a long breath more so than deep. And feel your belly expand as you breathe in. It's going out like a balloon. Now hold it for just a second. And then take a relaxed, deep breath out. Focus more on length than depth here. So we're just breathing out slowly. And then let your hand and your stomach come inward towards your spine as you breathe out. And then just keep following this pattern. Deep breaths in, the belly's going out. holding it for just a second, 
and then breathing out. You can breathe out through your mouth or your nose, it doesn't matter. Let your belly come in though, as you breathe out. And then another deep breath in through the nose, belly's out. Hold the breath. And then breath out from your mouth or nose, long breath out, belly's coming in. Continue with this pattern. Remembering it's okay if thoughts come to mind. You can acknowledge them, observe them, and then just let them pass. Continue this pattern, remembering to make your breath more long than deep. Focus here is to take your time breathing in, holding it for just a second, and then a long breath out. Let's do a couple more of these together. Deep breath in when you are ready through the nose. Belly is expanding outward. You don't need to keep your hand there if you don't want, but just make sure your belly's out. Hold the breath and then a long breath out. Let your belly come inward as you breathe out, getting all the air out. Deep breath in. Hold it. Then a deep breath out, taking your time. Do one more on your own. So friends, we are walking into the week, this Sunday of Pentecost. We celebrate the giving, the gift of the Holy Spirit and the beginnings of the church. And so I want you on your next breath in to focus on breathing in God's spirit. Take a deep breath in and draw in the spirit of God. Let it fill your body, hold it, just pause for a little bit longer than a second. And now breathe out whatever stress you're carrying. It might be mental, it might just be bodily or physical. Whatever worries, anxieties you have, just let them go with your out breath. And then return to the breath in, breathing in God's spirit. Breathing out your worries, your concerns, your anxieties. Breathe them out. Leave them in this place. Deep breath in through the nose, drawing in God's spirit, letting it fill our bodies. Taking a break to pause for just a second and then returning to your breath, breathe out, letting go of worry and concern, anxiety and stress, whatever darkness we are carrying. And I want you now just to follow that pattern on your own for a couple breath cycles, remembering in with God's spirit and out with our anxieties, our stresses, our worries, our concerns.
As you breathe, remember that the Holy Spirit is not some theological concept, but a real living presence that is amongst us even now. We are drawing it in with our breath in the living God's presence. We are letting go of our concerns and our worries. Let's do one breath together. Deep breath in, breathing in God's spirit. Hold it. And then breathing out the last of our worries, our concerns. And let's transition now from our breath to a time of silent prayer. As always, I invite you to reflect on the scripture readings, maybe the Pentecost narrative from Acts, or the story of Christ and the disciples from the Gospel of John. Maybe you simply want to reflect on Pentecost and the Holy Spirit, or just rest in God's silent presence. Whatever it is, I invite you to take a few minutes in silence now. And let us join back together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So now we join together in the Benedictus from Luke 
And I'll just invite you to join alongside Aaron in the refrain, you have come to your people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty savior for us in the house of his servant, David. You have come to your people and set them free. He spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant. You have come to your people and set them free. This is the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear and holiness and righteousness before him all our days. You have come to your people and set them free. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. You have come to your people and set them free. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. You have come to your people and Our epistle reading today is from the uh, first book of Corinthians, chapter 12. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it's the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the discernment of spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually, just as the spirit chooses. For just as the body is one and has many members and all the members of the body, though many are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free. And we were all made to drink of one spirit. Let us join together in the colic. Eternal God, you never fail to give us each day all that we ever need, and even more. Give us such joy in living, and such peace in serving Christ, that we may gratefully make use of all your blessings, and joyfully seek our risen Lord in everyone we meet. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. The God of peace be with us. Amen. Bless the Lord. Peace be to you all. Thank you for joining us. Apologies for the uh, the late reminder. Um, and just a reminder for y'all uh, that we will not meet next week, but the following week. So in June, we'll meet on the second and fourth week. And I promise to send out earlier reminders than right at noon. Peace be with you all and uh, enjoy this weekend.